And hey, chicken head. All right, so Jamma B is twiddling some knobs, turning some things. Hey, Loke. Fumbling my mouse. Get this. Oh, yep, your clock uh, flowed tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a year they're going to not take away daylight savings, just leave it the way it is. Uh, hey, T, uh, TI83. Bill in Michigan, yes, we see you. Thank you, thank you. My Emerson clock. <laughs> I have an Emerson clock. And it is a pain to change that. Almost, let's see, I must have uh, at, at least two dozen clocks. Um, probably 18 of them will just change themselves. But the other, you know, we only got, Becky, we got... Um, a dusting of snow this morning. Uh, snow is coming back this afternoon. I just looked at the. Uh, it is net, it it was uh, 54 yesterday. It is 27 right now. Okay. Woo! That's and cool. And really windy. God, it's Extra cold. Extra cool. There. Extra cool. That's why Miss Myra <laughs> is not setting foot out of her house. Hey, Ranger Rick, Roberto. PC guy, Dale Paco, who's going to chime in from some warm thing and say, oh, I'm freezing. It's only 77. Hey, Mandy. Fifty fifty. you'll have two celebrities the week of March 26th. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, we should just move twice a year over the time. Yeah. Well, one one local station stays on Central Time. And, and what is it? It's, it's a Hawaii, right? That doesn't change their clocks. Hey, J uh, J Mez. Arizona doesn't Just change their clocks either. Who who doesn't? Arizona. Oh, that's right. Arizona and Hawaii. 30 to here, quarter inch of snow. <laughs> there we go. It's a brisk 76. Kylo Tech. Okay, Dick. Uh, Captain G okay, ready? I yeah. think we're on the stream and I got my recordings running. So let me look at the different things. Uh, that's there. This is there. I'm going to put this in there. Okay. So I will slate the show. I believe that this is the Giz Fizz, episode number 467. It's regular old-fashioned. And it's recorded on Saturday, March 12th, 2022. And it begins in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... It's the Giz Fizz. The Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old fashioned Giz Fizz. Oh, great. The hops are back and sound great. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a Giz Fizz with photos from George Davis that you caption. We have logo. We have snappy answers to stupid question. We'll give you the stupid question. You'll give us the snappy answer. We have something from the Guinness Book of World Records. We have fact of crap. We have logo. A bunch of stuff, some old commercials. But first of all, there's a long line out the door, so I will spin a spinner to find out who's going to be Chat Room Celebrity of the Week. <laughs> Cricket number one. All right. <clears throat> so once again, no one paid attention to George Plea last week. To please volunteer or at least make a video. Jiminy. <laughs> yes, Jiminy is chat room celebrity of the week. Okay. 
So we're going to do photos that you captioned from George Davis. And here is photo number one. Um, is that a bath mat? Let me... Oh, it can be whatever you want. I see what George says it is. But this can be whatever you want it to be. To me, it looks like some sort of a non-skid mat, but it's whatever you want. Um, world's largest minesweeper, cheese shredder, fly swatter. I think there's chips on that plate, placemat, my dog's pee pad, <laughs> my mattress with bed bugs, introducing a new Mac. The ants were terrified about crossing the maze. Looks like Dick's floor mat that he vacuumed on the Gizwiz or tried to vacuum. Chi uh, time to change the flypaper in the family room. Dark spots are bad bits. Hardest wordle ever. <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, new manhole cover. Design your own needlepoint canvas. High-tech ant farm. Checkerboard for high IQs. Shower drain without hair. These are all over the place. Uh, Minesweeper gone bad. Splatter guard for a pan. White squares are winning. Spaghetti strainer. Ch a changing mat. Computer programming for Apple. M&Ms before they get colored. World's hardest version of Go. Failed Tetris prototype. It's a motherboard. Hardest Chinese checker game in the world. Apple Ultra Screen. IBM Punch Cards are back. Morbius Strip. Only 20% of the squares are growing mold. What the heck is it? Binary crossword. <laughs> Giant waffle maker. Who picked this jigsaw puzzle? Whack'em ant game. And we'll end with game of go with infinite squares. Now this is how the, George describes it as hundreds of chips on a silica disc. And uh, George's caption is, the chips with the black dots are rejects. We're working 24 seven just to keep up with the demand. And I think you got someone who said black dot chips. So you got a match there. Okay, photo number two. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Photo number two. Is, wow. I wonder if this is George's house. Uh, photo number two is a beautiful living room. A lot of windows, and we can see out into... I don't, it looks like a backyard, but it almost looks like it could be a, uh, a, a Hollywood set because those trees look very two-dimensional. Uh, anyway, it can be whatever you want. Let me see. My dream room. Waiting. The waiting room for chat room celebrity of the week. <laughs> Batman's getaway. My future home. I wish. Now that they have a Kindle, there's a lot more shelf space for knickknacks. Dennis's upstairs apartment. That could be. He would be that neat. Uh, find the squirrels in the picture. Twit's new reception area. My future den with no tech allowed. Living room or a prop room. Showcase house of your dream. $800,000 apartment for homeless in Los Angeles. Leo's house for voice practicing. Uh, Charlie's guest house. I always wanted, oh, I, me too. I wanted one of those ladders that slides on a, on a pole. Uh, stop rearing so you can get most of the books. If Dick had a house, this would be it. And I never have a house in the country. I'd be afraid. The secret Gizfiz house, trick ladder, architectural digest photo, room with a view. Ikea has gotten more spacious, more books. <laughs> Bleep Burp said, the time on the clock is wrong. Jeff Jarvis's den and we'll end with what the home looked like before the family got butchered. Oh, my God. Uh, George said, for the nice room, 
in a country home, it's George's description. My caption is, this is our den, the most relaxing room in our home, great forest view also. So, George, you and chat, is this really your den? Because it's really beautiful. Uh, let us know. Okay, photo number three. Oh, my gosh. A really rusted out old truck. A really rusted out old truck. <laughs> Logan said, I think there's a wall safe behind that one framed picture referring to the previous photo. A uh, typical Russian car, Hekanos. <laughs> Captain J says, is this George's car? Yeah, this is George's car. That's how he afforded the that beautiful room. Uh, very first Uber. Reduced to 45000 It's not rust, it's patina. My daily driver, Bonnie and Clyde's getaway car. No, that's the new model. First attempt at army camouflage. Uh, new paint shop style. Milkman's late again. It's the new 1938 rust bucket. Uh, what George is driving after buying that house. New Tesla Cybertruck. Amazon's first take delivery truck. Next restoration uh, project. This is a home for the Rust family. That's funny. Low miles, hardly been used. Re re recreating this patina across the gold mine. Before photo for rust ad. That's funny. Uh, the Love Van. Save money on gas with this none riding butte, none running butte. Amazing, the ties are still fully inflated. I thought the same thing. <laughs> the ties look like they're they're holding air. Uh, granddad's milk, uh, granddad's milk truck. Twenty twenty three Tesla Model U eh, held together by rust. The cadavers were removed for the picture. The rust is a feature. Z top archaeology vehicle, and we'll end with traffic during rust hour. Oh, that's funny. Rust hour. George said, for the old rusting van truck. My caption is, my uncle used to deliver pastries and bread in this truck. He had a great business. Okay, photo four is, wow, Oh, prairie dog holding and seem to be smelling a flower. Wow, I wonder if they, I wonder if they're vegetarians. Uh, prairie dog holding and possibly ready to eat a flower, but it's whatever you want it. Um, here, my sweet dog. She loves me. She loves me not. Muskrat love. Another she loves me. She loves me not. Go for it, G O P H E R. Go for, go for it. Um, you got to take the time to smell the flowers. Please don't eat the daisies. Squirrely, want a flower? Maybe the wife will let me move back in the bedroom. This rat smells. Happy Groundhog Day. Shall I ask her out? Go for it. Another go for uh, pun. Tricking humans to get rabies. <laughs> Looking for the Tinder tr uh, meetup. Prairie dog on Valentine's Day. Flower power dog. Badger hybrid smelling a flower. Go for a photo of the internet's first search engine. Prairie dog offering his girlfriend a flower. When Groundhog Day clashes, uh, crashes with Valentine's Day, John Fry's with that. Muskrat love. Bet the FBI is listening to my every move. Funny looking cat. Uh-oh. Can't smell anything. Ditched on prom night. Uh, they're going so fast. Do you love me now? And we'll end with, you think this will make up for last night? All right. Let's see what George put. 
Uh, George said, for the prairie dog holding a small flower, my caption is, I know these are edible, but I'm going to give it to my new girlfriend. Okay, photo five. Photo five. Oh, how sweet. Three do- uh, two doggies and three cats in a row. Okay. <laughs> Paying no attention to one another. Okay. Four animals, two doggies, two cats. Family of pets. Two dogs, two cats. Two dog night. Dogs and cats in love. Can we retake the picture? I think I blinked. Four pets. Family pet photo shot. I'm not looking. How long do we have to keep this pose? The cat says, what? Double date night. I taught, I tore a Tweety Bird. Newest barber shot quartet. Cat on right. I'm having, I hate having my photo taken. The cat's meow dog roundup. Please retake, I saw a squirrel, a vacuum's worst nightmare, (laughs) Charlie's drinking buddies, four pets taking a picture, Uh, the third cat is is taking the photo, over here Tubbs, kids you're supposed to be looking forward, dogs and cats living together, do I have to be with these guys, look into the camera, family portrait, mutts edition, Oh, it stopped. It was raining cats and dogs. Oh, that's funny. This is going to be my retirement home with my two best female friends and their animals. Uh, Pet catcher lineup. And we'll end with three of us really want that treat. One is indifferent. No, you're right. Three, Three are interested. Cat on the right couldn't care less. All right. George says... Oh, George has called the two cats and two dogs. My caption is, great news for you guys. We're moving to a larger house. Each one of you is going to have your own room. Man, the con says, I want to adopt all of them. Okay, our final photo, photo number six. Oh, best friends forever. Sorry about that. BFF, best friends forever. Oh, God. It is, well, it's whatever you want it to be, but if you're just listening, it's an incredible maze. And in the middle of it, it says, you are here. Okay? Incredible maze with you are here printed in the middle. Caught in the Matrix, amazing. Uh, Tricking your mind into thinking you are not here, but where is here? How did I get here? Apple Maps updating, updated, Uh, locating QR code, caught in the maze of life, Ikea map, puzzled, directions to Disneyland Penn Station, Apple's M1 Ultra, Mad Magazine headquarters, my retirement plan, stuck in the middle with you. Costco rearranged the store again. Um, It should say you are lost. Corporate organization charts for a puzzle store. QR code disguised as a maze. This photo is amazing. I'm here, but how do I get out? QR inspiration, downtown L.A., Google Maps does not think so. Map to my new mansion after I've won the lottery. It says here, we're in a puzzle store. Can you just airdrop food and water? Clowns to the left of me. Take a right, then a left, then a right, another right, then another. Help, I'm stuck in a tiny square. Infinite perspective vortex. Oh no, we're stuck in the middle. You can't get there from here. And we'll end with Big Brother keeping track on us. And use a 55555 says, amazing, stuck in the middle of Ikea. Okay. 
George said, for the very large maze, my caption is, because this will take you many hours to reach the exit, we're going to have a large hot dinner waiting for you, if you want, for just $10. Facts about food, George says. Facts about food from New York. Dick, let us know if you knew any of this, okay? English muffins are from New York, as well as spaghetti and meatballs. Wow, I didn't know either of those. Ice cream cones were invented there in 1896. Weren't ice cream cones rolled up waffles? Wasn't that a thing that at some fair they ran out of ice cream cones? I don't know. Um, Baked Alaska was invented in New York in 1876. Boy, I knew none of that, George. Uh, Wishing everybody a great week. Stay safe and happy. See you next time. Bye, George. So, George, are you in chat? Because that is a beautiful room. You know, you can answer next week uh, <clears throat> on this sheet, okay, when you send them and just say, guys, last week that was or was not my <clears throat> living room, uh, den rather. Okay. Uh, we're going to play Logo. Oh, we're playing Logo. Everything is a mister. Uh, uh, um. Mr. Pepper. Oh, wait a minute. Company that uses faster, hotter, better. Then I'll give you one more clue. Anybody know it just from that? Faster, hotter, better. Mr. Pibbs? No, Mr. Mr. Ree. <laughs> Mr. Clean, coffee. Oh, oh, Mr. Oh, Mr. Coffee, Mr. Magoo, Mr. Coffee, Brett Trojan, <laughs> Mr. Clean, Mr. Coffee, Mr. Coffee. Uh, any idea from those clues, Jamma B? I would go with uh, Mr. Clean over Mr. Coffee because I don't want my coffee to be uh, stronger. Well, maybe stronger, but not faster. I don't know. Oh, well, then you lose out. It is Mr. Coffee who says, we brew faster, hotter, better. Uh, um, oh, man who wears a white shirt and a, an earring. Man who wears a white shirt and an earring. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Go Jack seems to be the only wrong answer. Um, Mr. Baldy, Howie Mandel. Um, I met Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel is a germaphobe. And I wrote a takeoff on, what was his show? Uh, oh, anyway, I wrote the satire of it in that toy fair. I said to the woman, did uh, Howie read the takeoff on, uh, of his show in Mad? And she said, I'll ask him. And she said, oh, my God, he has it in his briefcase. <laughs> Would you come in and autograph it? I said, yeah. She said, don't touch him. <laughs> She, she, he said, when you walk in, offer your elbow. Okay, so that I offered my elbow. Ahead of our time. And, and we did that. Okay. Um, it is, you, the, you know the answer, right? With a white t-shirt and an earring? Uh, Mr. Clean? Mr. Clean. Deal or no deal. Thank you. Thank you. One thing H-D- I remember, uh, didn't Harry Mandel put rubber gloves on his head and inflate them is that is that the right comedian that's about the only thing i remember is a what? he put a glove on his head then it would blow into it and it would inflate on you know like a rooster's thing on top of his head 
Chat room, does that sound familiar? Maybe, maybe I'm mixing him up with somebody else. Let me know, chat room. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're, they're yes. Cool. Yes, that's how we stand up act. <laughs> Very memorable. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. You know, I didn't didn't know that Howie did crazy stand up like that. That's great. Well, the chat room knows a lot. A cherry spice soda that rivals Dr. Pepper. We're looking for a Mr. Answer. Cherry spice cola that is a rival of Dr. Pepper. Howie Mandel owned just for laughs. Mr. Pibba? Mr. Salt? Mr. Tabasco? <laughs> they call it Mr. Pibbs. Oh, uh, there's a link to it, Jamma B. Mr. Cyanide. Uh, Jamma B, your answer. Cherry Spice Cola, that's a rival of Dr. Pepper. Mr. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> it is indeed Mr. Pibb. D-I-B-B. Um, oh. Nearsighted cartoon character. Nearsighted cartoon character. Magoo, Smith. Well, Howie Mandel also played a doctor. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Talk about brand recognition. Oh, my gosh. It is indeed. You knew that, right? Magoo. Yeah, yep. Mr. Magoo. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Dun, I, got the Howie, I got the Howie thing. You want to see the Howie oh, thing? Oh, yeah, let's see. I'm not doing this. No, I'm camera Here. number one. Uh, no, do it. Ted, put it on. Just put it on. Do it. Come on. You're going to look silly. I will. I, I will. You know, I'm going to okay. look. This is a turning point in my life. It is. Know. Let's do it. Go ahead. I'll have you know Merv Griffin once did it. Yeah, okay. You know, you look good in that. All right, now pull the front over, right over the, your nose. Okay. Pull the front. You right. I'll do it. Right. Pull the front, right over your nose, just your nose. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm there. Right. Okay. Now hold it. Mine broke. Uh, Mine broke. But I'll get another one. I'll get another and one. And I'm left. No. They'll tune in no. now, and they will. Oh well. You oh, sorry. Will. Sorry, I told. Pick the wrong video, video apparently. All right, just keep it. Put it right over your oh, nose. This and is get not it. Well, I wasn't expecting. Well, 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 I'm sure he's done it many times. <laughs> this yeah. is the one where the glove broke. I can't okay. yeah. Is it over your nose? Yes, it is. Okay, now hold the rim tight so air doesn't get out. All right. And blow, blow out your nose. Do you have a cold? No. Okay, good. Am I doing it? I can't see you. Oh. Uh. This is great, man. Well, this is actually, not as great oh, as I thought you. it was. Really? <laughs> no, it seems to be a lot for not too much. But if you see your doctor do it right before an operation, <laughs> I would, <laughs> I would be a bit worried. Uh, okay, uh, we'll do a thing from the uh, the uh, Guinness Book of World Records game. Okay. The, the the food version. Uh, okay. Fastest time to eat a bowl of pasta and <laughs> what, what kind of, what kind of a bowl of pasta is this? The pasta and the sauce weighs 5.3 ounces. That doesn't seem like very much. <laughs> it's it, it, I guess it's that dish there. I, I I guess it almost looks like more than 5.3 ounces. Uh, all right, so how fast did that man 
eat that much pasta, all right, to be put in the Guinness World Records. Uh, 12 seconds, 17 seconds, one big gulp. This is one of the most disappointing. <laughs> one of the dumbest. What would your answer, Jamma be? I mean, I could slurp that stuff down in three seconds. Yeah. So evidently, this man kicked back a lot of money because it took him 90 seconds. What? On November 12th, 2009, Ernesto Solario in Italy ate a bowl of pasta in one minute and 30 seconds. Sh sh a little pasta. higher. Let me see. Uh, that man, I could slurp that down so fast. Yeah, yeah I know. The pasta and sauce weighed 5.3 ounces. What kind of a... Yeah, I assume it's cooked. I assume that this yeah, is him I'm doing it. Yeah, if it's not cooked, it's going to be a little harder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, not cooked. <laughs> Although, uh, and how are you, it, 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 this is pasta with sauce, so that, that must be the photo. That is one of the dumbest. I think anybody in the chat room could break that record. Or maybe it was five pounds and not five ounces. We're missing something. Yeah, I don't know if you can read the card. Yeah, you can read the card. The pasta weighed 5.3 ounces, 150 grams. That is ridiculous. And then to make it part of the game, please. All right. Then um, we're going to do a, oh, 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 oh. Oh, I would. Uh, oh, I hope Dennis is watching. One of Dennis's favorite chefs, and the first question is, "What is this chef's last name?" And <laughs> give us the name, the chef's last name. As an Italian whose mother made her sauce from scratch. <laughs> I almost passed out when Dennis said one of his favorite things was, well, I won't mention any products because there's some questions about them. Um, oh, okay. Some bad spellings, but most, a lot of people are. Yeah, it's, it's unclear what his first name is. <laughs> yeah, some people are thinking that maybe that part is his first name. Oh, that's very, yeah. Chicken Head said, Chef Boyardee can eat spaghetti faster than the record. I bet. Now I want spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. I want Did to you eat know, it really Jamie? fast. Do you know how to spell it? What's, what's your take on a spelling? Oh, um, I, do, I do not know how to spell it, but uh, I don't think it's A-R-D-E-E. -E. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but it is. It is. Let's see. Can the card show that? Oh, I can't show you that because the rest of the question's there. But it is B O Y A R D E E. Wow. Uh, uh, well, yeah. Chat room got it right. Um, in the 20th century, Chef Boyardee was the world's largest importer of what kind of Italian cheese? In the early 20th century, Chef Boyardee was the world's largest importer of what kind of cheese? Limburger, mozzarella. Mozzarella seems like a good answer. Parmesan, Privolone, Romano, Mustard, grated mozzarella. Parmesan, cheddar, mascarpone, Vel <laughs> Velveeta. Ah, that's a real Italian family. Spaghetti with Velveeta. 
Jeremy V, your answer. The world's largest importer of what kind of cheese? Chef I'm going Boyle with uh, mozzarella. Oh, no. It's a, that's a good answer, though. Parmesan. Mm. Uh, um, Chef Boyardee makes a mini version of what Italian favorite? And this is what Dennis's favorite uh, is. Chef Boyardee makes a mini version of what Italian favorite? Uh, uh, um. <laughs> Bill in Michigan says, Ravioli, trust me. Ravioli, SpaghettiOs, Ravioli, Ferrari, Mini Ma Ravioli, uh, uh, uh. Taramisu, mm -mm -mm. Sp Ring Spaghetti, Ravioli for a hundred bucks, Lasagna, Cheerios, Ravioli. Yeah, so, you know, Dennis, mini, you should run down and give us your answer. <laughs> a mini lasagna is kind of hard to imagine. It needs yeah. to be something that can be self-contained pasta. You know? that, uh, okay, and that means your answer is? Ravioli. R mini raviolis, yes. That is exactly right. And one day, deal of the day was a case of mini raviolis. So I bought them for Dennis. It took him six months to go through them, but he did eat them. Uh -uh, okay. Uh, we'll do all oh, a fact of crap. Uh, um, Vatican City is the only country in the world where ATMs offer service in Latin. Fact or crap? Vatican City is the only city in the world where the ATMs offer service in Latin. Es Padre, crap, crapola, wow. Tourists would be using them, crap. Tourists would use them and they wouldn't know Latin. Mm. Jamma B, what's your answer? Well, I see a lot of people saying it's a fact, and it troubles me because I can't imagine that anybody, even people with the Vatican, would have Latin as their primary language. Wouldn't that be like Italian or something? And then maybe some of them know Latin, but why? If they, they all know Italian. Why would you have? A, but then again, I've been wrong before. So you're saying crap? I am. Okay, okay. Well, the thing is, all right, so the answer is fact. No, I mean, the thing is, it says offer service in Latin. So you would go up to the machine and it would probably just say, do you, you know. I have a list of languages to choose from. Exactly. But and, I don't understand only, why anybody would choose Latin because. Oh, I see what you mean. Because they yeah. probably speak Italian as their primary, as their, they, were, yeah. they didn't learn Latin as their first language. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, well, maybe they wanted to get on this card, or maybe there <laughs> are people who visit the you know priests and stuff who visit the Vatican from African countries, and they don't speak Italian and they don't speak English, but they do have a little Latin. So maybe there is a place maybe. for it. Anyway, it is indeed a fact. The science building at the University of Toronto is named the James T. Kirk Building in honor of the Star Trek character. Fact or crap? Science Building at the University of Toronto is named the James T. Kirk Building in honor of the Star Trek character. Sure. I'm calling crap on that, says Jim. This needs to be a fact. Ilya G. Fact, 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 fact. Fact. <laughs> One Brian says, fact, make it so. That's a little too far. Wrong captain. It's, crap. <laughs> it's a different captain that said make it so. 
should be a fact. In fact, they changed it from the Alfred E. Newman Center. Crap, it's the Roddenberry Building. Jamma B, fact of crap. Tiberius. University. Say again? Tiberius. Tiberius? Is what the T stands it, for. Oh, oh, okay. But it's crap. It is indeed crap. It is indeed crap. Okay. Uh, uh, um... All right, we're going to do a snappy answer, and then we'll go do a couple of commercials. Uh, uh, um. Okay, so two kids are looking in the door, and there's the lady there with her hair up in curlers, and she's making dinner, and... The little girl is pointing to the lady saying, is that your mother? And the snappy kid says, no, it's. And then his snappy answer. Lady making dinner, hair and curl is, is that your mother? No. Did you have the show on upstairs? Yeah. Okay, so you knew about Chef Boy ID record to say that it's not out of gourmet preference it's because of nostalgia from oh okay before, right? did you hear that then it was perfectly Dennis valid just, perfectly valid something okay. you ate as a kid if you're fond of yes okay, okay all right the 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 chat room accepts your <laughs> accepts your explanation Uh, no, it's my stepmother. No, my dad is a trans. No, she just broke in. There might be a better cook. We'll let her stay. No, it's my Latin tutor. No, it's girl chef RD. No, that's my wife. No, why would my mother be here? It's dad's girlfriend. No, it's the caterer whose cooktop was broke. A random woman just comes to cook here. No, that ain't my mama making pancakes. No, my chef. No, it's my chef. Boy, are you deaf? No, it's my dad. It's my hairdresser. It's Mrs. Boy RD. She just came in off the street and started cooking. Uh, no, that's our maid. No, it's Julia Childs. Okay. Uh, uh, um, Gemma B, your answer is, is that your mother? Is that your mother? Uh, no. Why do you ask? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see what Al Jaffe put down. Is that your mother? No, just some lady I adopted because she desperately needed to be criticized, abused, and emotionally rejected. Oh, no. Oh, we've got a lot of matches. No, that's my father. My mother dresses even funnier. And we got another match. No, that's my girlfriend. I go for older women. All right, so we got some matches. Uh, okay, we're going to have some, what kind of commercials? We got be? beer and cars. Uh, beer and cars. Um, let's do some beer. I think we did cars last time. Some old-timey commercials from television. Hello, this is a hop flower. Hops grow on vines. Right now I'm going to use this one to illustrate what Schlitz means by brewed with just the kiss of the hops. Hops, you see, wow. have petals, leaves, and stems. But in brewing, the really valuable part is the lupulin. L-U-P-U-L-I-N. It's a golden powdery substance. Like the honeybee takes nectar from the flowers, Schlitz takes lupulin from the hops. It's the timing, just enough time to extract the delicate aromatic flavor of the lupulin without the bitterness that can come oh, from the Oh, and you did it themselves. the day we're changing the to clocks. The beer you know is going to be harsh or awful. Bitter coffee and tea become when brewed too long? Well, that can never happen with Schlitz beer because Schlitz is brewed with just the kiss of the hops. You notice it right oh away in God. flavor and aroma. And that's why there's hops lipstick on the quality. glass. 
and Schlitz buys only the best. It's true, of course, that any brewer who has the money can buy good hops if he wants to do so. But the thing to remember is that it takes more than good hops. And it takes an old man with bad eyesight. You have to know how. What the hell and is that's this? That's why the matchless flavor of Schlitz is good in every bottle and can. And that's why people buy more bottles and cans of Schlitz year after year, millions more than of any other beer. Just one glass really? will prove to you why, if you like beer, you'll love Schlitz. Enjoy it soon. I wonder if that's still true. And now back to the Schlitz Playhouse of Stars. I'm from Milwaukee, and this is my boat, and my beer is flat. Oh, that's it's the me! Flat is the best beer on land or on sea. Oh, what a flavor! Flat what if Schlitz cared that they it started in called it Blatt? Blatt is, it? is the largest selling beer. And now, oh. folks, <laughs> wait a minute. We just Black heard that another Black beer is the Black largest Black selling beer. Milwaukee sure know their beer. They sure do. Blatt's for me, too. Why, it's more popular than any beer in Milwaukee. And a mighty big oh, favorite Milwaukee. from coast to coast. Yes, sir. Blatt's for me, too. Yes, Blatt's is a favorite wherever you go. I'm from Milwaukee, and I ought to know. It's the Black Beer story wherever you go. Blatt's is the name you will always hear. Blatt's is Milwaukee's finest beer. The Amos and Andy Show has been brought to you by Blatt's, Milwaukee's finest beer. I'm from Milwaukee, and I ought to know It's a Blatt's beer story Oh, Blatt's, uh, Blatt's is now Pax. What a major improvement in branding. The Blatt's Brewing Company of Milwaukee, Wisconsin invites you to tune in Bud Light is the largest selling beer in the U.S. Says user 555555. I thought it was Blatt's, but it turned out to be Schlitz. the hell is this? Boy, look at that creamy head. These waving fields of barley are just one of many reasons for that creamy head and fresh, pure, sparkling taste. For this is not ordinary barley. This is very special barley. This is blue ribbon barley. The United States Department of Agriculture recognizes mm. more than five. No, this smells like crap. Barley, what the hell is that? Only this eight went of bad. All these are considered fine enough for use in Pabst Blue Ribbon. Beer Use beer that one anywhere. and that one. Your taste. Throw the rest we'll out. Tell you why. Fresh, clean, sparkling beer with creamy foam. Fine in restaurants and fine oh at God. home. I want a beer just like the beer they served my dear old dad. Twas Pat's Blue Ribbon, finest to be had. You hear it everywhere. Finest beer served anywhere. Oh my, oh my God, oh my. <laughs> now when they open anyone that's cans, they're going to get... The land of Here sky there. blue waters, hey, land oh. of cool enchantment. Listen. Oh, these are a riot. Oh. of sky blue waters to you comes hams the beer refreshing as the crisp cool land it's brewed in the beer that captures for you the wonderful refreshment of this enchanted northland hams it's the water the beer is playing mm. hams crisp clean cut to the taste refreshing Lakes 
exclusively yours from the land of sky blue waters. Oh, Logan Five. My dad ran a crab house and sold ah, home yes. sweet home, the little nest, where after work a man can rest or take a peaceful stroll. <laughs> Titus said these look like beer commercials for kids. <laughs> Weed garden, cut the grass, paint the window, fix the glass. Daddy, can you buy me some of that beer? Easy, dear. With the beaver and the bear. Oh, these little women have a way, but maybe I forgot to say, she always had my favorite brand. Carly's Black Label Beer on hand. What a happy thought. Hey, Mabel, a great idea. Black Label, nothing too good for good company. Carly's Black Label Beer, the quality brew at the popular price. Enjoy the best they are invite. Get Carly's Black Label, Carly's Black Label Beer. Mabel, Black Label, Carly's Black Label Beer. All right, we can stop there. These are very funny. Like up- that was a very funny idea. That you're up Schlitz Creek. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, up Schlitz Creek is very good. And it is. It's like they're pitching them for kids. That is a riot. Okay, we're going to do match game. Uh-uh. Let me give you a paper. Oh, is Alex uh, with us? I'm calling him now. Calling him now. Okay, very good. Dun, 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 dun. Um, don't forget, please, uh, Charlie, not yet. We're just starting. Charlie, <laughs> we're just starting. Will someone please be a chat room celebrity of the week uh, by video, okay? Just shoot a little video. This is where I watch Giz Fizz. This is my computer. This is my room. And that's my dog. Charlie, not yet. Charlie, we're just beginning. Okay, you have to relax. Go to the green room. Okay, go to the green room. Okay, the green room. There are snacks in the green room. Uh, Okay. Oh, they're making a follow-up movie to the movie Shampoo. It's called Blank. A follow-up movie to the movie Shampoo. It's called Blank. Now, we should get some matches here. (laughs) My dog hates this show. Oh, craft services, yes. Does it matter if we did it? Uh, okay, Alex, making a follow-up to the movie Shampoo, it's called Dandruff. Uh, oh, he got matches? Okay. Jamma B, follow-up is called Conditioner. Okay, you got some matches? Did I? Let's see. Oh, I got some matches. It's called Rinse. Dennis? Shampoo, it's called Baldy. Charlie, no. Come on, stop it. Just stop it. Okay. Uh, uh, um. Walter said to the doctor, Doctor, put on your glasses. You're trying to take my temperature with your blank. Marvin said to the doctor, Charlie should be a contestant on the match game. Uh, doctor, put on your glasses. You're trying to take your temper- my temperature with your blank. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay, I got a match. Say again? Oh, okay, very good. Stethoscope with your diploma, with your martini pick, your thermal visor, your tongue depressor. Oh, well, that's funny. Sizzle stick, your reflex hammer, <laughs> with your analog barometer. Oh, my God. 
Uh, okay, we're going to start with Jammer B. Walter said to the doctor, Doctor, put on your glasses. You're trying to take my temperature with your blank. Stethoscope, a lot of matches for you. I said, Doc, you're trying to take my temperature with your finger. And, oh, and Dennis said, with your finger. And Alex, Doc, you're trying to take your... A syringe. Okay, very good. Very good. Um, um, um. Oh, my God. Vito's beard was so tough. How tough was it? It was so tough, he didn't use a razor. He shaved it with a blank. Wow. Vito's beard was so tough. He didn't shave it with a razor. Oh, I got... I got this. He shaved it with a blank. Whoa. All right, let me look up and see if I got a match. Ah, I did. Okay. Vito's beard was so tough. Didn't shave it with a razor. He shaved it with a blank. Machete, guillotine, diamond file, vat of acid, oh my God, a garden hoe, a blowtorch. Um, okay, Alex, Vito's, Vito's beard was so tough, he didn't use a razor, he shaved it with a machete. You got matches? Jamma B, so tough he had to shave it with a... Weed whacker. I said he uh, so tough he had to shave it with an axe. Got some matches. And Dennis said, oh, you got matches too. Shaved it with a lawnmower. Charlie, two more, two more questions and then it'll be you. <laughs> and then he gets up here. I, I don't know what he thinks is up here. Uh, 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 um. Wow. Yolanda said, I went to the most expensive fruit store in Beverly Hills. When you buy blanks, they gift wrap each one individually. Yolanda said, I went to the most expensive fruit store in Beverly Hills. When you buy blanks, they wrap each one individually. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh blueberries, that's funny. But it is overwhelmingly Oh pumpkin seeds, that's funny. Overwhelmingly grapes. Uh okay, we're gonna start with Dennis. Yolanda said I went to the most expensive fruit store in Beverly Hills. When you buy blanks, they wrap each one individually. Uh, grapes. Dicky D. Ah, uh, grapes. Jamma B. Oh, you got some matches too, though. Sunflower. No, you did. Sunflower scenes. Just went by a minute ago. Alex. They wrap each. Oh, raisins. That's good too. That's very good. Uh, Smokey the Bear said, I'm not going into hibernation this year unless I take along a blank. Charlie, you'll be next. Smokey the Bear said, I'm not going into hibernation this year unless I take along a blank. Uh, um, okay, I... Let me look up and see. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I thought I was going to get a lot of matches. 
Oh, my God. All right. I don't think I got one match. We'll see. Smokey the Bear said, I'm not going into hibernation this year unless I take along a blank. I said an iPod. Mm. No. Wow. We got an uh, iPad. Dennis? We, we, we got an iPad. Late entry on iPad, so we're going to match it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if Dennis got any matches. I'm not going to go in hibernation unless I take a quart of scotch. Okay. Jamma B, not going into hibernation unless I take an electric blanket. That's very good. And Alex. Mm. Uh, ambient. Or, or, or we can match that with the scotch. We're but matching with but what? Don't, but don't do that at home. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Match it with the scotch. Um, all right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, Charlie, hang on. Uh, Charlie, I can take my earphones out. I'll put you on speaker. Okay, come on, Charlie. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He said, oh, Dickie, am I finally on? Am I finally on? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Okay, no, look away. Dennis. Come on, Charlie. Up, 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 up. Look at the look at the tail. Charlie so wag a lot. It's so wag a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Ta-da! There he is. Your boy. Charlie, say something into the microphone. Uh, 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 boy, I'm a happy, I'm a happy camper. Yep, I'm on camera now. I'm a <laughs> Yep, Charlie's a member of Oftra. The doggy union. Oh, Charlie, look who we have here. Charlie knows when 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 he's on and Dick is off. The Giz Fizz is powered by Charlie's tail. No, Charlie has no clue. But fortunately, Super Roo says my day is now complete. <laughs> yeah, now Charlie can hear his theme. Because it's on speaker. <laughs> I should tie a, a bone to the to the microphone. Yeah. Okay, Charlie, hang on. He is so funny about that. It, it does, yeah. No, he's very happy about that. He's wagging his tail to the music. Thank you for noticing. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been regular, old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Wow, whoa! Uh, we'll be back on Thursday with Giz Wiz. Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, <laughs> Charlie the Dog, Dennis Wonderland, Jamma B, Becky, Beatmaster, Myra Joyce, Jay Mez, Ms. D, Sly One. Uh, Chickenhead 21, oh my god, they're going so fast. Oh, Dale Paco, Benthman, Bill in Michigan, Mandy, Magoo, Stooge, Giz One, Roberto Hellman, D. Claire, Eric Duckman, Hamster, August Hylotech, and Stooge. What you buy turtle wax? It's not just with turtles anymore. All right, chat room, thank you. Alex, good seeing you. So, John, you got a PTZ camera? We got a PTZ camera. Cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a, new, a new tech, uh, NDI, uh, POE, mm -hmm. and uh, part of a trade. Nice. Yeah, fun new toys. Yay. Yeah. Let's see if I can make it do something like that. There's zero, <laughs> zero. Uh, Anyway, wow, what is what is with that one camera? Whoa! Uh, now I'm dizzy. Uh, 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 uh. All right, cool. new okay. toys, new toys. Yep. There we, there we go, there we go. All right, see you all. Chat room. See you Thursday with Chad, and we'll be back here next Saturday. Thank you, Dick. No. Thank you, Alex. Thank okay. you, chat room. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Nah. Ah.
Ah, who didn't set up reruns today?